everyone welcome back to essence of polish i hope you've been enjoying my videos and if you have please hit the like button and if you're new here a big welcome to you and please hit the like and subscribe subscribe button for more great upcoming videos today's video is a birthday manicure and no it's not my birthday but as you can see in the title it's one of my subscribers birthday a big happy birthday to Kayla Montrell and I know her personally so if I slip up and call her Shakayla which is her real name then y'all will know that I'm talking about Kayla Montrell if your birthday is coming up or even later in the year and you want me to do a manicure for your birthday then just leave a comment and let me know down below in the comment box the colors I have on are Milani Bronze, Nina Ultra Pro Glamping, China Glaze Liquid Leather, and Icing VIP. This is going to be a water marble. Well, two accent nails are going to be a water marble using the Milani Bronze and liquid leather no I just, I just said that all backwards china glaze liquid leather and so I'm gonna start out with water marbling with these and if your color doesn't spread all the way across the top of the cup don't worry about it because sometimes it'll you'll still get a good design and you want to move quickly or fairly quickly because you don't want the polish to dry on top of the water because then once it dries you can't drag through it like you can't draw your design tape on my finger because it helps with cleanup so that once I dip my finger I won't have so much on my skin to clean up and I'm just gonna draw up to the top and down to the bottom and you want to um, anchor the polish to the side of your cup because then your design won't move around as you're drawing in it. And I'm just going for a swirl design. And look, in, look at your design and see what part do you like and where you want to dip. I think I'm dipping here. Sorry guys, I know you can't see. You can blow on it to get the polish to dry quicker. Clean up so it doesn't get on your nail when you pull out. And there we go. Pat your nail on a paper towel to get some of the excess water off. And you don't really have to, but I like to do that to get the water off my finger and since I have uh, my base color on my, on my other hand I have tweezers to take the tape off because don't want paint on my base color so now I'm going in with some cleanup around the edges where the tape missed I'm done with cleanup I'm gonna use the icing VIP and put some dots in in between the design and the water marble 
and I like to just take the polish right off the brush because um, I don't like putting the polish on like a yogurt lid or something because I don't like when it dries up sometimes I will it depends on the design I'm doing but for right now I just like taking the polish from the brush so that's the ring finger done and next I'm gonna go in with Nina Ultra Pro glamping and I'm gonna put this on my pinky I already put some on my pinky and I did it with the sponging method which is with glitter polish you put the polish on the sponge and the sponge will soak up the clear jelly part of the polish and leave the glitter on top of the sponge and then you can sponge the glitter on your nail and it's best to do that because that's how you can get a good maximum amount of glitter on your nail but with this polish I guess because most of the glitter is small fine glitter it's not really going up there as opaque as other glitter polishes like if I were to paint my nail with the brush with this with this polish then I would have to do a lot of layers and it seems like with the sponge with this polish I would have to do just about the same amount of coats of polish but like I said I already had some on my nails before starting because I didn't want to have to do all those layers at one time so I went ahead and started that and I don't know how many layers I did but I think this is good and this is pretty much opaque I'm happy with it and glitter is hard to can be hard to get off your skin so it helps to dip your orange stick in acetone and then use your stick to scrape off the wet glitter because it's better to get it off before it dries now for my index finger I have these two wheels of uh, what do you call these not charms rhinestones and I'm gonna be using mostly some from this white one oops I <laughs> I just plucked that way over there. I think those are stuck. Okay. 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 Uh, like I said, I'm going to be mostly using ones from this one. I tested it out. Like, I put a design together before starting to record so that I would know what design I want and from this black one I'm gonna use two little circles and a black little teardrop I don't remember if I said it or not but I'm gonna be using the rhinestones on my index finger and I'm gonna be using gel polish to stick it down to really secure the gems and what I'm gonna do is once I have the design set the way I want it then I'm going to cure it so just put down some gel polish and then gel polish is not gonna dry until you put it put it under the LED lights so just put some polish down put down your gemstones and then clear cure the 
gel polish and I'm going to put the two put the rectangles on the top and bottom of this of the octagon and then the two small circles oh I thought I picked it up and then the two small circles at the top and on the bottom if I can pick it up it's upside down I'm trying to flip it over and at the bottom and it's crooked and my tweezers are a little big so I'm only I'm going to use my orange stick to straighten it up And when you're trying to straighten it up, it's best to look at it from different angles. So you can turn your hand this way and then this way. And from this angle, it looks like I need to shift it back to the right a little bit. And then I'm going to use my Overney UV nail lamp to cure it. By the way, the black that I have on, it is a regular polish. And you can use regular polish with gel as long as the regular polish is like super and for sure dry. So it can't be like, you know, halfway dry and then you put gel polish on it. It's not going to work like that. It'll start to wrinkle once you cure the gel polish if the normal polish is not dry. So that's all done and then I'm going to take a teeny bit of the gel polish and splash it right on top of the octagon. Pick up this teardrop and put it on top. And then you cure that. And by the way, I just did a review on this nail lamp. So if you want to check that out, it'll be in a card in the top right corner if you want to see that video. Now all the gems are super secure, but you can see and you can tell the little edges are still sticking up from under the uh, rhinestones so I'm just going to fill in that empty space so that won't be annoying to have them sticking up from under from on top of my nail so I'm going to fill in the empty spaces under the rhinestones and then cure that next I'm gonna do my thumb and I'm gonna just do some basic stripes on my thumb with this black and I'm just gonna go from one corner to the other side and I'm gonna go slowly to hopefully get a straight line And then I'm going to do another one beside it and then fill in the space between them. Trying to keep the space even. And by the way, y'all, I had text Shakayla and I asked her what's her favorite colors. I knew her birthday, but I didn't know her favorite colors. So I just randomly texted and asked her and she said rose gold and black so that's why i chose these colors instead of filling in with my little teeny brush hopefully i can stay within the lines using the brush out of the bottle a little bit of rose gold still peeking through but we can fill it in with the small brush. Now I'm going to use the nail polish brush to 
make another strip of black in the corner of my nail also trying to keep, keep that straight and wrap the tip where the black is and then I want another strip in between both of these but thinner There's that, so that's one hand done. And so I'm gonna do my other hand off camera and then I'll be right back. So here's the finished manicure and I think this looks really good. Like, it looks like prom nails. And I was gonna take this off tomorrow because I have plans for some upcoming Valentine's Day and Mardi Gras videos. But I kind of, I don't, I really don't even want to take this off. Like, this is really cute. But anyway, happy birthday again to Shakayla or Kayla Montreal. That's her YouTube name. And again, if your birthday is coming up and you want me to do a manicure for your birthday, then just leave a comment down below. Let me know what technique you want me to do, what colors you want me to do, and what anything else you want to, you want in the manicure. So please hit the like and subscribe button and thanks for watching. Bye.